This is a Honda S2000 from the year 2000. This is from a year that was still technically the 90s, but in name only. Because only in the 2000s were we, as a society, still willing to put up with Smash Mouth and ninth grade girls who are turning in their portfolio for art class and it's filled with nothing but Sephiroth fan art. It's a new review of a Honda. It's an S2K. And we did one, like a year ago, maybe longer, but this one's different though. The S2000 suffers from the same violent and confrontation prone congregation as the Suzuki Hayabusa. And I wear counterfeit Jordans, buy replacement hat brim stickers off eBay, which arrive via DHL, all of my 360 controllers are rage broken, I drive a Honda S2000, and I'm bringing a gun to a car meet. Listen, we did this car before, but all I did in the old review was talk in this spoiled brat voice without explaining why spoiled brats love S2Ks. Spoiled brats, and some breeds of hipster, love having... Potential. They love having potential. Potential. Remember that word. The S2000 is full of potential. It is the basis for a killer track car, or a drag car, or a drift car. Whatever you want to build, the S2000 is great. Potential. When you drive an S2000 like a normal car, it feels like a base model Civic, only slower. If you short shift an S2000, this Roadster becomes an old dog. A Miata will pull better than an S2K. But this is okay. Hey, this is good. This is good because the S2000 has potential. You don't mind that everything is flaccid down there in the ones and twos because of the potential that lies up at the eight and nine. Oh, oh you don't want to rev me. Oh, you don't. Want, you don't want me to rev this thing up to nine. No, you. You. You want. You. You want to find out what happens if I do that. Oh, you. You, you don't want to find out what happens when I rev this thing up to nine. No. 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 Hey, I, I'm not gonna. I can't fight you. No. 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 You, I mean, if you fight me, my hands are registered as weapons. Yeah, I could fight you, but then I go to jail. If I touch you, I go to jail. My hands are registered as weapons. Potential. Boasters and boys with weak self-images love to have potential because potential is a value that never has to be proven. Oh, you have the potential to be a rally driver. You know, you have the potential to be a great musician. You have the potential to get great grades. Potential is great because you can play Minecraft all day and never have to cash it in. You won't cash it in. You won't cash your potential in. I mean, what happened if you posted up next to a stock Mustang GT and revved up to 9,000 and cashed in all of that potential energy for kinetic energy only to find, even on a twisty road, you're losing to a dad's car? What is potential? Potential is wasted energy. Potential is wasted energy. That's what my band director said in real life. He said it to us in the catacombs of Giant Stadium in 1996 before all chapter championships. Potential is wasted energy. I want to see what you're capable of. I don't want to think what you left behind. And the Honda S2000 is a car for resting on your Abercrombie jeans and forging your parents' signature on a bad report card which has the comments does not work up to ability. As long as all of the power lies hidden in the top 10% of the rev range, the S2000 can hide from criticism behind a wall built by message board white knights. I know I'm being unkind to the S2000, so let's bring it back just a little bit. Designated the S2000 due to its 2.0 liter engine displacement, production of this front mid-engine rear wheel drive salute to the middle class taxes ended in 2009. The quick and dirty, this particular model sports a naturally aspirated inline four dual overhead cam VTEC engine making about 237 to 247 horsepower. It's got a six-speed manual torsion limited slip differential 16-inch bridged bridge 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 potential S20 tires of the front Dunlop Z something and socks suspension. There's a $6,000 difference between NADA and Kelly Blue Book value on this particular model. Remember that Freddie Prince Jr. used to be a movie star. Look it up. Look at this. And yet it's hard to fault the real capabilities of this car. There aren't many cars in this class that offer the value of an S2000. Sure, it might try a little too hard to give off a luxury aesthetic with all the everything's crammed over in the driver and hiding the radio and everything like that, but it's more than a respectable under the hood. In fact, the Honda S2000 is subtly 
fairly effective in nearly everything it does. The owner finds it handles better with stock suspension. As it stands now, modding culture is its own controversy for purists, inspiring more rage than getting caught putting ketchup on your hot dog in Chicago. But with an S2000, you'll never have a bad time driving one. I'm ripping on the Honda S2000 for the same reason that I tore the E30 a new a-hole, because it's a car you're supposed supposed to like. We're all supposed to like this thing. This is the Final Fantasy VI of cars. It's the one everybody's supposed to fawn over. But I'll give the S2K this. It serves a very useful purpose. The S2000 is the last two-seat sports car you buy before you buy a C6. Ha! I won a Honda S2000 and high-def porn for browsing and a girlfriend knows the green technique this wheeled goatee the official car of day one dlc it's like the super toy from me it's just out of reach it's out of reach it's out of reach it's out of reach it's out of reach, out of reach. like the perfect beach and there's potential up in this Honda Though it's flaccid in the ones and twos The official car of hidden power And tribal tattoos Oh, I can't own a 